does kind of seem like you can run this way. I'm supposed to. Maybe I'm supposed to run past. Yeah, fuck the battle, just run past it. Nice. That's actually how you do it. That's great. The node graph isn't even built for the map. That's beautiful. That that is exactly what you do with a with a fucking finished game that you play. Oh, Give me that ammo. Mitchell, do you copy? We just left nope. the hospital, but the streets are either fucked or swarming with those aliens. We'll have to find another way to Brandon Street, and we'll have to find one quickly if we want to get out of this city. Go ahead, Mitch. I got this covered. The hell? There's someone on the channel. I will be watching. What the hell was that? There's someone on our channel. Oh my god! Error! Watch out. That crab zombies. I'm fucking terrified. Infinite respawn thing, another run past to get the victory thing. It kind of seems to me like that could be it. Yep, fuck you. Alrighty. <laughs> wow, you literally just fucking run past. Austin 316. Alrighty then, I'm inside some random fucking building. I still got no flashlight. Doesn't seem like it's really all that connected to the previous level, but okay. Isn't this straight out of T for Team Fortress 2? Yes, T Fortress 2. The online multiplayer class based shooter based on fucking British beverages. Leaves cooked in hot water. There is literally nothing beyond these doors. There's an invisible wall blocking these doors. Invisible fucking wall. There are med kits or shotgun shells apparently sitting on top of this. Information desk, I'd like some information. You know, perhaps like, uh, why the fuck these pistol magazines are s fucking giant? Why this unfinished Beretta model is sunken through the ground? Oh shit! It's a fast zombie, oh no. It's like I'm playing New Doom all over again. You press a button to do something and then suddenly thousands of enemies. All right, <laughs> just went through the wall. It's fine. 
All right, just fucking do a thousand points of damage per hit. That's fine. sure that fast head crab was within the line of fire of that but okay whatever good fucking god come on all right you can load any time now Because that's what happens when you're playing hard. You get fucked! There we go, finish it off with a headshot and... Unlike any of the actual Half-Life games, it spawns a head crab. See, in the normal mainline games, it kills the head... It kills the head crab if you finish off the zombie with a headshot. But no, not here, we're special. We are hunt down the free man. We've got trash cans that clip into pillars. Use the health kits this time. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. I love infinitely spawning waves of enemies while you wait for something slow to happen. It's like the lazy fuck's guide to game design. Now don't forget to add that extra little bit of flair into the uh, equipment animation, otherwise... You know, you might, the player might be able to bring out their fucking shotgun and shoot before an enemy hits them. You can't have that. Okay, do they, are they just gonna keep spawning until I go into the elevator? Is that what we're playing at here? I certainly fucking hope so, cause that's, that's just beautiful. That's, that's how you design a game. Go into our linear sequence or you'll be fucked with. I do not say to auto equip that. You piece of fucking cunt. And I can't turn it off. I don't want auto equip, auto equip is cancer. Okay, how about you? Yeah, do that. Well, at least I see where I need to go. Interesting. Apparently that fucking Black Panther movie's getting bitched out because it doesn't have enough gays in it. That's why you don't deal with the gay community. They're never satisfied. What the fuck is that? That a pair of night vision goggles? Uh... Alright. <laughs> okay. I'll equip night vision goggles as if it's a weapon. Sure.
Oh, now it opens. Spam buttons and it opens. Really, do I not need health? It would be nice if... If that didn't happen, for one thing. Or if it didn't auto-hide the HUD, because it wants to be cool and fancy. Yep, headshot kill, and the head crab is still there. Make me waste more ammo. I love it. Do a little quick save, cause fuck you! Oh. Another headshot kill, another fucking head crab spawn. Okay, I, I'm not really sure if that one even actually hit me. Jesus goddamn fucking Christ. You know, I'm not used to running the dual mic setup here. I'm probably smacking my goddamn headset for the stream. Well, I'm trying to do anything. Don't I have the goddamn... I thought I picked up the MP5. Exciting. Real exciting. Yep, another headshot kill, another head crab still alive. At least there's not 10,000 of them in one room that never stops spawning. white light here. So, really? Can I really not take off the, uh... Alright. <clears throat> That's nice. You have to select- You have to select the empty weapon to take off this shit. Tell you what, it seems like every time something, every time I try to do something, something interesting happens somewhere else. Oh, isn't that nice? You follow the flares. The flares are actually there to tell you where to go. I spent 10 bucks total on this booze. And it's so, 
You're that sniper, huh? Black Ops? And you must be Mitchell? And you must be the one on the radio. I heard that you guys have a plan about getting out of the city. Maybe. I went in. Why? Hey, let's make a deal. I'm listening. Good. First, let's lower the guns, okay? I can get you to Brandon Street with shortcuts and give you sniper support. But I want in. I'm getting the hell out of this city. Alive. So whatever your plan is, I'm in. When we're out, I'll go my own way. Until then, I'm the only friend you got. So tell me, Mr. Black Ops, why should I trust you? You guys fucked us over at Black Mesa. Adam. What? My name, it's Adam. And we just followed orders. They sent us to do the job you guys failed to do. You killed your own people! Didn't you? By the time we got there, you guys already killed more than half the Black Mesa staff. That was different. How? Face it, Mitchell. I did nothing different than you. At least I didn't backstab my own brothers in arms. I already told you it was in order. You ever disobey orders? Now I got a question for you, Mitch. How the hell did you make it alive from Black Mesa? I found my way back. How did you get out, Adam? Well, I guess I found my way back. Hmm. <laughs> so, Mitch, we got a deal or what? Well, looks like you're in. Alright then. Let's get the hell out of this goddamn city.